Colossians 1 and 26. Even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Sales of Hope, the secret mission of Christopher Columbus. Kirk's book review. And our book for review today will be Sales of Hope, Christopher Columbus, Secret Mission. Sales of Hope the secret mission of Christopher Columbus by Simon Wiesenthal release date October 1973 Simon Wiesenthal Simon Wiesenthal was one of the lucky few who survived the Nazi death camps of World War II. Unlike many other survivors, however, Mr. Wiesenthal did not return to his pro-war profession as an architect, but instead became the world-famous Nazi hunter, the conscience and voice for not only the Holocaust, six million Jewish victims, but for the millions of others who were murdered by the Nazis as well. When asked why he chose his unique course, Wiesenthal explains, when history looks back, I want people to know the Nazis weren't able to kill millions of people and get away with it. His work stands as a reminder and a warning for future generations. Now back to our book review. Sales of Hope, The Secret Mission of Christopher Columbus by Simon Wiesenthal. Release date, October 25th, 1973. Wiesendahl, head of the Vienna Base Documentation Center, who has made a career of finding fleeing Nazi criminals, Eichmann, among others, has set out what equal doggedness to track down Columbus' ethnic origins. There are ambiguous signs. Columbus was too erudite to have been a simple weaver. He quoted Old Testament scriptures, used an arcane cipher and letters to his son, spoke Castilian too well to have come from Genoa. That the explorer might have been at least part Jewish but was he a Spanish Moreno or from a Jewish family which migrated from Cologne to Italy? Because his first voyage was unmistakably financed by two court Morenos. Did he set off expecting to be reaching countries in which Jews lived and governed? His official interpreter spoke Hebrew. And was he not at the end inadvertently successful in carrying out his secret mission? because the Caribbean Indians were descendants of the 10 lost tribes of Israel. Wiesenthal is too methodically a scholar to leap to conclusions. He limits himself to suggesting these hypotheses and marshalling the evidence in the framework of Spanish court politics, the Inquisition and the expulsion of the Jews from the Iberian Peninsula.
Unfortunately, the questions raised are highly academic, of interest only to Judaicists, Hebraicists, and those intrigued by similar conundrums, such as who wrote Shakespeare's sonnets, or whether Erickson got here first. Did he set off expecting to be reaching countries in which Jews lived and governed? His official interpreter spoke Hebrew. And was he not at the end inadvertently successful in carrying out his secret mission? Because the Caribbean Indians were descendants of the ten lost tribes of Israel? Columbus knew the Indians of the Western Hemisphere were the ten lost tribes of Israel. To put a spotlight on the history of this story, let's take a look at one of the kings of the ten tribes or the northern kingdom of Israel, Jehu. Jehu is Hebrew, meaning Yahu is he. It's also Akkadian, Romanized Latin. Ihu was the tenth king of the northern kingdom of Israel since Jeroboam the first, noted for exterminating the house of Ahab. He was the son of Jehoshaphat, grandson of Nimshai, and possibly great-grandson of Omri. His reign lasted for 28 years. Jehu, the tribute of Jehu, of the people of the land of Omri as depicted on the black obelisk of Shalmaneser the third. Jehu, king of the 10 tribes of the kingdom of Israel. The 10 tribes were called Indians first in the land of Israel. This article is from the website Bible Study Tools Jeremiah 13 23 Many people may have read this verse, Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? But how many people also know Jeremiah 13 and 23 is also interpreted this way? Can the Cushite, the Indian, change his skin. It need not be wondered at that with the Jews in those times, Ethiopia and India would be reckoned the same country when with the ancients, whatever was beyond the Mediterranean Sea as Arabia, Ethiopia, and even Judea itself was called India. So Joppa, a city of Phoenicia, from whence Andromeda was fetched by Perseus, is by Ovid said to be in India.
Columbus was looking for the ten tribes of Israel, the Indians, or Indies. And he found them in the Western Hemisphere. 